I have conversations with my friends, some of them tend to tell me like, you are so lucky like with what you do, like you, you, you're so successful on YouTube, you've done so well for yourself, like that's awesome, it must feel amazing. And like, yeah, I am lucky. I, I am lucky to a degree. Like the stars align in certain situations and I'm super grateful for that. But none of that would present itself without me actually putting in the work. Like if I did nothing, then there would be no YouTube channel. People are always broadcasting and posting just like the greatest, like the highlights of their lives and everything. And what this does is, and I, I'm sure you've heard this before, but the problem with this is, is when people look at social media, they're not seeing people in their dark moments or when they're being sad or whatever. Like they're only seeing the really happy, fun parts of lives. And then like people subconsciously start to think, okay, well, how come my life's not like that? And so your expectations get risen and then your reality is down here. So how can you ever be happy if your expectations are so high and like your reality is like lower? What you need to do is have your expectations lower because at the end of the day, life is not supposed to be easy. And this is coming from a 22 year old and you're gonna probably be cringing at this, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the thing is, life isn't easy, life is freaking hard sometimes. Sometimes you can have days where you literally just don't want to do anything. Technology today, like all this information, all this noise is just blasted at you like at a million miles per hour. You always want to fill up your attention just with like videos and like Instagram posts and everything like that. Like you don't actually want to be sitting by yourself. What this does is it creates like a lack of patience. People think they should have their lives sorted by the time that they're like 21 or 22 years old or even like 19 years old. Whether that be their parents putting that pressure on them or whether that be looking at social media in the way that other people are like super successful at their age. But the thing is people who are successful at such a young age have been lucky and they've worked very freaking hard about it. They haven't been sitting like looking through social media doing nothing about it. There's absolutely no shortcuts. You need to define your definition of success. Me personally, my definition of success is providing value to other people and being able to get other people off their asses and just go out and create no no matter what their situation is, no matter how they're feeling, if they're feeling good, cool. If they're feeling bad, cool. Like, just go and do it. It doesn't matter. And this is what like Gary Vee has like pushed in his videos. We're born in like the best time in like the history of the human race. At least we weren't like born in like the Great Depression or like the Black Plague. You know, like there is so much opportunity today, like with the internet and everything like that, you're able to do literally anything that you want. If you want to go out and you want to like just make a business about whatever it is that you want, like you can do it. If you think that like maybe like you're not able to get a job in a certain area or whatever, like you're wrong because even if you can't get a job in that certain area, you can make your own business online and then you can build it from there. There's always ways around things. If you, you the thing is you have to want it. The number one thing that holds people back from doing what they love and what makes them happy and fulfilled in life is the opinions of other people. The greatest practice that I've ever actually like put into motion, that's a terrible way of saying it, but you know what I mean, in my life is not giving a fuck about the good or bad opinions of other people. Now you might be thinking like, oh, what's wrong with caring about like good opinions? Like isn't it good to like care about that? But no, because the thing is, if I cared about the good opinions of other people, then I'm getting high on my own supply and that's not good because the thing is, it's not about me. It's about the value that I provide to other people. If I can get at least one person to take something away from this, really just like start getting their ball rolling and getting their life going despite the opinions of other people, then that's, that's why I do it. But the thing is, it's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Not caring about the positive or negative opinions of other people is like, it's one of the most difficult practices. But the thing is, it's never too late to start practicing. If you're in the gym by yourself, you think that no one else is around. Like you start getting like all pumped up. You're like listening to your favorite song. It's like, yes, I'm ready for my set kind of thing. But then a person walks into the gym. Then you start like dancing like a little bit less because you're so worried that like, they're going to think that you're weird for dancing in the gym. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't, that doesn't matter. Living your life based on the opinions of other people will literally breed unhappiness and stop you from doing what you want to do. So go out, practicing, practice not giving a fuck. So practice doing bold shit, like doing stuff that makes you uncomfortable, seek discomfort. And then if you do that, taking those risks, 
That is when you start to live life. That is the biggest thing that I can tell you. That's the biggest advice that I could ever give you from me, a immature 22 year old YouTuber. And I know that to be true. I want you to start practicing this so that you can live the life that you really want to live. Express yourself, be you. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.